Hey friends, welcome to the Johnson City Living Podcast, where we learn about the people, places, events, and flavors that make Johnson City just a lovely place to live. I'm your host, Colin Johnson, with the Colin and Carly Group and Keller Williams Realty. If you're interested in buying or selling a home in the area, or if you're looking at investing in a rental property, give us a call at 423-930-8003, and we will look forward to helping you. Now, let's get to today's episode. We're talking rental property. We're talking investing in real estate. And so just a quick um, little note for you guys on long-term rental property versus short-term rental property. And so you're probably like, well, duh, one you hold a long time and the other one you, you hold a short time. Well, that could be part of the equation. However, we're talking Airbnb versus just long-term tenants. So um, we manage a ton of property for about, I don't know, 60 different clients. And um, most of those have long-term rentals, meaning their tenants are going to be in the units for six months on the short, short end, but most likely we like to sign one-year leases. And so that means your your tenant's long-term. Um, I would tell you short-term tenants are going to be um, – three months to six months to overnight guests with like an Airbnb thing. Um, we've got uh, traveling nurses that take some short-term rentals for a little bit longer. Um, but Airbnb is huge in Johnson City. We've got lots of friends who are doing it. They're doing it well. Um, so those are, you know, that's a thing where you're overnight or you rent it for a week or two. Um, we've had a lot of clients actually who sell their house and they come here to look for a house and they don't have um, have a property identified yet. And so they'll they'll lease an Airbnb out for a couple months um, until we we find the right property and, and they pull the trigger and we close on it. And um, so you can you could rent your house out. You can rent rooms out. You can um, get creative, you know, build an apartment above the garage to lease out for Airbnb or even long term rental. Um, just depends on um, where you live, your restrictions against that. There are starting to be more and more restrictions against Airbnbs and say condo complexes and that kind of thing. But um, it's still a big, it's, we're a, a great place to come and visit. Um, it's just amazing to me after, I think I take it for granted sometimes because we've lived here for so long, but um, lots of people are, coming here just to visit check it out and then moving here i know tons of people are moving here because we're we're just covered up but um yeah and so long term um if you want to think about that more you can rent out a house you can buy apartments duplexes quadplexes most of those um work really well for a longer term um, lease it's going to let you um, be able to kind of forecast your expenses a little bit better than an Airbnb. Um, just because you don't know the demand on the Airbnb, you can look historically and see what um, things are trending towards and rents are going to be. But if you have a lease um, in place for a year, you know, unless something crazy happens with that tenant, which that does happen, but not very often. We've not had to evict too many people over the past 15 years we've been doing it. Um, but you're going to have a guaranteed you know, cash flow check coming in every month. And so for that reason, um, I really like um, long-term rental. Plus, if you want to be more hands-off and passive long-term rental, you allow us to manage it. And you literally just get an, uh, oh, look, some money showed up in my account because we'll just direct deposit it right into your account every month. And so um, it's a little bit easier for sure if you um, want to be more hands-on, um, I would say Airbnb is probably the way to go. We don't manage Airbnbs um, yet. We are looking at it and trying to figure out how to do that well. Um, so that could be another option. Um, but it's going to be a little bit more labor-intensive for you if you're wanting to clean the unit, flip the unit, get it ready, manage the online bookings. Um, it's 2 in the morning. People just drove in from... Um, Utah, and they've got two dogs, and they're exhausted, and the code on the door doesn't work. And guess what? You're getting up at 2 a.m. to go unlock that place for them. So it's going to be a little bit more labor intensive, and there are going to be some some things to deal with and think through. Um, all your utilities are included in that deal too, so you've got to factor that in. Um, so Airbnb, I, you know, we've got friends who are doing wonderfully, and it's amazing to me what people will pay for a house overnight. And um, 
in Johnson City. And so, um, and we've got a ton of different options too. I think that's the cool thing about Airbnb. You get short term um, feelings like you get to go to a lake house one weekend, or you could go to a mountain house, or you could just go downtown and get a loft, or um, just be out in the field in the middle of nowhere and just um, enjoy nature. You know, there's just so many different options. I think it's just continuing to to explode and it's just going to continue to grow and so we would love to help you find um, identify some properties for airbnb or even long-term rental and um, love you we'll walk you through that so i'd love to sit down with you um, and we could just schedule some time to talk about it because um, i think it's a great way to build wealth um, add to your investment portfolio diversify some and our area in johnson city just continues to grow and i don't see it going down anytime soon so it's a great time to invest and so thank you for listening hope you um, have learned a little bit and i look forward to connecting with you in the future so reach out and say hi have a great day